So um, for those that didn't see 60 Minutes a couple of weeks back, I think it was about two weeks ago, um, they had a real estate company called Triacon, right? That was on there. And they were talking about how they own, uh, I think it was right, roughly about 30,000 homes, um, specifically in these more popular cities, such as Charlotte, um, Atlanta, uh, Tampa, Florida, <clears throat> South Florida, um, I think Phoenix, you know, and basically what's going on in America, for those that don't know, you have real estate companies that's buying up houses, starter homes. So take, for example, if you're young, you know, you're a millennial and you want to purchase a home, you're having a very difficult time because these real estate companies have investment firms such as gold um goldman and sachs jp morgan blackstone that in the, that are investing millions into these real estate companies and these real estate companies are buying up buying up thousands of homes because they have the capital to do it for real so take for example if you're like trying to sell your house right now the housing market is great for you just depends on where about you know you are you understand? But for the most part, you have these 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 uh, real estate companies such as Triacon, um, America's Home for Rent, Progressive Residential and Invitation Homes that are buy your shit up. Let's say, for example, you selling your house for two hundred thousand dollars, let's say eighty thousand dollars more than what you pay for it or whatever have you. They'll scoop that up instantly and they'll take it as is <clears throat> no matter if it's fucked up or not. Straight up, they'll take it and they'll gut it out, renovate, remodel and all of that stuff and put it right on the market to rent. This is what's happening now. That back in the days, you can actually own the American dream. But now you have these real estate companies that are buying up all of the homes. Now they're telling you all you can do is rent the American dream now. Straight up. This is facts. Tricon owns um 31,000 homes uh invitation homes owns 80,000 homes america's homes for rent it's crazy that i'm talking about america's homes for rent because i rent from them they own 60,000 homes and now most of us have a corporate landlord that plain and simple. And it's sad. It's sad. It should be against the law what these real estate companies are doing. It should be against the law what these foreign international and international <laughs> investment firms are doing. Like America is for, for sale. Tricon the one that's own, that owns 31,000 homes, they're based out of Canada. This is crazy to me, man. For someone such as myself that has a family that's older and you all out there that are younger that wants to start a family and wants to get into a starter home can't do it because they own 30% of the home of, of homes in America and they'll sit back and say well you know what we're not really you know like killing the market or whatever you know 70% of the homes are owned by single owners yeah that's for now that's for now let's fast forward this 40 40 50 years later and see how much these real estate companies own of a percentage these real estate companies own of houses that they own 30 40 years from now this is ridiculous man this is ridiculous but guess who's allowing this to happen your united states government 
your Democrats, your sleepy Joe Biden, your Congress, House of Representatives, and Senators. They're allowing this to happen. And you know, of course, somebody's getting paid under the table. You know that. You know that. But this is what we're allowing them to do. Corporations have zero interest in the American people. The only thing that they're concerned with are their shareholders and making more money. That's it. That's it. And I'm just trying to understand, yo, seriously, I'm not trying to shit on anyone that does, you know, videos about Charlotte, you know. But for the most part, why? Why is it that I'm the only one that's talking about this? Like, this is real. Like, when you go to, like, seriously, I'm not lying. If you go to my, um, to this channel, right, in the playlist section, right, of this channel, go to a tour around Charlotte. And you'll see several houses that I've done a tour in, right? Some of those houses are in Steel Creek. Some of them in Ballantyne. Some of them in the Indian land at Indian Trail, South Carolina. And I can tell you, all of them that I've done a tour in, as far as dealing with those homes, are owned by either Progressive or America's Home for Rent. Straight up. And when you go to their website, right? Progressive, because the most of the, um, excuse me, two of the, real, the biggest real estate companies that owns homes here in Charlotte are either Progressive, Residential, or America's Homes for Rent. When you go to their website, you'll see they, they have a map and it has red dots all over, excuse me, they have a map of Charlotte, right? The inside of 485, right? And you'll see red dots all everywhere. And those red dots represent homes. They have houses everywhere in Charlotte. Everywhere. So if you're trying to rent, you ain't, you ain't got no problems. None at all. But if you're trying to purchase a home, it is very difficult in this day and time. Because they're buying up homes as we speak. Straight up. And this is all south, southern states. You understand? Like the hot spots are right now is Charlotte, Raleigh Durham area, Greensboro, uh, Winston Salem area. Uh, I think they call it the Triad. A tri yeah, Triad. I think, and I think um, Raleigh Durham, Chapel Hill is Triangle, and um, uh, what else? Atlanta, um, Tampa, Orlando, uh, uh, Central Florida, Orlando, um, South Florida. You know what I'm saying? Broward County, Miami. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else? And there's, I'm separating the two. So, please. Miami-Dade and Broward County. Um, and Phoenix, Arizona. I don't know if they have them in Dallas. But I'm pretty sure that they have them in Dallas. You know, real estate. Some type of real estate company that's buying up mad houses in that area. Um, if they, if Triacon, Invitation Homes. Invitation Home is, is, the, is the biggest out of all of them. They own 80,000 homes. All across America. So I'm, I'm more than sure that they're in Dallas, Houston, Austin, you know what I'm saying? All in that area. But this is what's going on in America. <laughs> and this is the reason why you see the rent increasing. I've been here for three years, right? Um, The first year, I think my rent went up. Well, my lease was over. My, my, my rent went up like $60 or something like that. The second year was like 100 I'm about to end my lease. I'm more than sure that they're going to go up. They're going to double that. So it's going to be $200, a $200 increase on rent. And it's either I'm going to pay it or I'm going to move. That plain and simple. There's not an option to buy when dealing with these people. You, in this day and time, right? According to them, we don't want you to own the American dream. We want you to rent it. That plain and simple. I don't know what to say, man. I really don't. I'm, 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 I'm damn near speechless because it's crazy. Like, as I'm talking to you all, 
I'm I'm actually renting from America's Home for Rent. So when I seen the special in 60 Minutes and <laughs> they mentioned America's Homes for Rent, I was like, oh shit, that's I rent from these, these motherfuckers. America's Homes for Rent has 60,000 houses. I should have known something was up with them. Should have known something was up with them, man. But yeah, I mean, it's it's real, you know, and um, they're just slowly but surely kicking us out, you know, like what I mean by that is, you know, us little people, uh, us us middle class folks, you know, they're, they're, they're just they're making it so that we we no longer exist. Like it's like just like Pretty Ricky said in, 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 in the last video, you know what I'm saying? It's the have or the have nots. That plain and simple. It's not gonna be no in between. It's not gonna be any middle class anyone anymore. None of that. Charlotte's rent has increased and it's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm letting you all know. I'm not telling you to stop looking at, you know, the other channels that talk about Charlotte. And you know, talk talk about Charlotte, and, and and it's like you know, like everything is all good. I'm not telling you to stop looking at them, but I'm just telling you that they they're not telling you everything. They're just not. And my channel is just here to just tell you everything to let you know what you're getting into before you get into it. I don't want to be that person. That fail to mention something and then you move your ass down here and then say, well, damn, Langston didn't tell me about blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. I told you everything. Straight up. Matter of fact, I've talked so much about damn Charlotte to the point where I'm damn tired of talking about it. About this city. But it's shit like this that comes up and I'm like, look at the fuckery. Look at this. And this is something that we have to deal with. Right now, it's four. In my community, four American home, homes for rent available. Houses available right now in my community. I can't even tell you how many houses American Homes for Rent owns in my community. If they don't own it, Progressive owns it. That's my word. I'm not going to see. I'm not the, the one to sugarcoat shit. I'm not. I ain't one of them rappers that be, get, have all of the, the, the gold chains and the, the, the fake money and all the rest of that shit. I'm, in other words, I'm not the type of person to like sugarcoat shit and act like, oh, yeah, I'm living this fast, fabulous life. I'm driving these nice cars and this and that and so forth. No, 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 no. No. You want to know why? Because one day I'm going to bump into one of your motherfuckers. And if I was like portraying like I was big man down here and I had all of the money and this and that and so forth, guess what? You're going to look at me and be like, well, damn, where the gold chains at? Where all the money at? And with this and that, da 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 da. No, nah, no. Nah. I'd rather give you me. Straight up. I hear people in the comment section all the time talking about some, yo, man, you know, you have a family. Why don't you, you know what I'm saying, like purchase a house? Don't you think that I've been looking? You think this shit is like that? It's not that easy. Shit is changing. Yo, Charlotte is changing. If I'm lying, please, for all you Charlotteans or transplants, people that live here now, that came from other places, tell me if I'm wrong. Charlotte is damn near changing every six months. Straight up. I go, Listen, I go to Uptown every day, almost every day. My gym is in, in, in Uptown, right? And I'm not lying. I, I drove through, what was it? Um, South End just the other day. And I was like, where the fuck these damn, what apartment? How did they get these apartments up this quick? Shit changes like every six months. And you know, every six months when shit changes, yeah, shit. Rent changes. The price of houses change. Every 
everything changes. Charlotte is morphing into this city that I don't even, I can't even identify any, anymore. Matter of fact, sooner than later, I may not even be able to live here. Maybe on the outskirts, but definitely not in city limits. I mean, shit. One person already said it. Well, Charlotte is coming, is, 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 is slowly but surely turning into an Atlanta. It is. Most people that live in Atlanta, excuse me, most people that say that they live in Atlanta don't. I didn't live in Atlanta. I lived in Marietta, Sandy Springs, Metro Atlanta. I couldn't afford to live in Atlanta. The city limits, that is. If you don't understand, like what I'm saying, far as there will, there no longer will, there no longer will be a middle class. I tell you, in Charlotte, I tell you what, take your black ass down to Atlanta, and you'll see. Atlanta city limits. It's either the have or the have-nots. It ain't no middle class in Atlanta. None. And this is what Charlotte is turning into. Just a little bit more cleaner. Less crime. Other than that, it's turning into an Atlanta. And they're pricing people such as myself and others out. So they're pricing you out or pricing us out. You understand? And um, it, it's just crazy, man. You know, I can't. I, I'm not even lying in my community. I can't even tell you how many houses that American Homes for Rent and Progressive Residential owns. I just can't. And that's a damn shame. But this is where we're at right now. Straight up. That these real estate companies own 30 percent. Of starter homes and homes, period, in America. For now. And they're slowly but surely. I ain't going to say slowly but surely. They're buying up houses. As we speak. And they have the capital to do it. Straight up. 